see me by roll in. If, if you do, then we'll try to do a lesson here. <laughs> uh, provided, my, provided my left hand behaves. Finger cramps today. I don't know, must be needing some potassium or something. Who have we got? Probably just me. Probably just me at this point. Hey, Invader Zim. How are you? Uh, doing all right. All right, looks like we've got a few people here. Thought I'd do something a little different. I haven't done this in a while. It's, it's probably literally been... Scoot over a little bit. It's probably literally been two years, well, almost, probably going on a year and a half or so since I did an actual live lesson. And uh, so th th this will just kind of happen as it happens. Uh, and, you know, it's not going to be anything fancy. I, uh, I'm i going to basically, well, basically what's going to happen here is I'm, I'm, I'm going to listen, I'm going to listen to a song. Banjo kickoff, uh, probably not the whole thing. And we're gonna listen to that banjo kickoff and figure out if that's something that we can do. And I did my hair. Uh, <laughs> and so we'll, we're, we're, we'll try to figure that out. And, and, and I'll try to answer some questions as we go along uh, and, and, and just, see, just see how things go. So it looks like a few of y'all here. Yeah. All right, well, um, so any of y'all, so who's, who is, uh, who all is familiar, who, who all is familiar with this tune? Are y'all, are y'all familiar with it? It's kind of new to me, you know, I'm an old guy, <laughs> uh, like Billy Strings, who's that? Uh, but. You know, this is this is actually this is actually pretty solid bluegrass tune, and I could see this one maybe getting some jam session play. So uh, it it I mean it, it's definitely something worth worth kind of poking around at and seeing if we can figure it out. So uh, so if if you if you haven't heard this song, if you haven't heard this song, for sure. Uh, You'll want to uh, you'll want to look up Billy Strings and look up Red Daisy. It, it's it's a good tune. It's a good tune. It, it 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 it's peppy, and so we're 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 just gonna go we're gonna go through this thing kind of the way I did when I was learning to play, and uh, I'll I'll move my camera down so y'all can see my fingers and all of that here in a little bit. But uh, it's. Uh, it, it, it's got it's got some good ideas in it, and you know, let's see. Hey Tate, well this is I mean I, I'll sure check it out, man. I uh, I just uh, you know I I don't I don't do a lot of tabs, so uh, I mean. And I might or might not tab out what we sort out today. And in just a quick disclaimer, this will not be a note for note transcription of the banjo break in this song. This is going to be the Jim Panky learning to play a break to this song kind of break uh, as, as this song comes up in the future, if it does at jam sessions. Or if I continue to try to mess with it, this this break will evolve, and I'll change it, and I'll find stuff that makes more sense. But what I'm hoping to accomplish today is to take something that's completely and utterly unfamiliar to me. I don't even know what key it's in, and and show y'all how I go about figuring out a break. So uh, it 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 should be it should be really it sh hopefully hopefully y'all get something out of this. So. Uh, so let's see, I've got it here on my, 
Yeah, here on my phone. So what? For, so first thing I first thing I usually do is I'll listen to it and try to figure out the key. So I'm just going to listen to just a little bit of it, and we're, we'll play a little bit. And y'all, let me know if you can hear this. Okay. So that's that's the next question because hey, this is all new to me. So. So does that does that come through okay? Does that is that coming through? All right. Y'all y'all hear that? Can you hear the banjo part? It seems a little bassy to me. It seems a little bassy to me. Let's let's make that a little less bass. Uh all right. All right, so let's figure out what key we're in. Unless somebody's already got that part figured out. All right. So we're in B. So we, they, they're in the key of B. So key of B, if y'all haven't done my capo video, now would be a good time. Well, not now because I'm live, but go watch my capo video when you get a chance. Uh, close let's see yeah all right so we're in the key of B uh, one of the great things that YouTube will let you do on on these videos as well as as well as other videos like mine uh, if y'all hit the little three dots or the gear or whatever you should have you should have a playback speed and so let's slow this down just a little bit. I mean, that's that's flying. I now I can probably figure it out at that tempo, but let's let's slow it down a little bit and see if we can listen to it just a little slower speed. So here we go. So so the first thing I'm hearing there, here, let me, let me adjust the camera a little bit. Hey, Zim, is that, that question is really not related to this stand, though. Uh-oh, sorry, y'all. All right, so that, that first little bit there. All right, sorry for that. That was kind of a little rough. That's kind of what I'm hearing. kind of the kickoff I'm hearing let's see let's see if that's what he's doing let's go back and listen yeah so actually it's simpler Let's do it again. So what I'm hearing when I do that is I'm hearing a, and then I'm hearing a forward and reverse roll with a, with a little pull off. That's what I'm doing. I don't know if that's what he's doing, but that's what my brain is working on. So let's, let's listen to that again. Ah. So he's doing that little G lick that we've used before. So the kickoff is simpler than what I'm doing. The forward and reverse with a slide, pull off, something like that. Either of those work, so that gives you a general 
ballpark for that. So let's do that again. Let's let's roll that tempo back just a little bit. Just, let's slow that down a little more because, well, my old brain. And maybe to help y'all hear it a little better too. So we're going half speed here. So this is going to sound really wonky. break that down for you as to how I would go about playing it. So my kickoff, so it's a pinch, four, hammer, three, and then forward in reverse with a pull off, that's a slide, and pull off, and then a G licks, three, two, one, three, four, one. It's the fourth string open. I'm hearing the fourth string open. So I'm just doing. That's kind of the melody he's just doing. So it's just four, five, one, four, three, one. And that's a situation to where I play that. So that's one of those deals where I kind of break the rule and I play my thumb twice in a row. So let, let's go back and review, make sure that's what we got going on there. So he, he's just rolling there. So from the beginning. Something like that. So that's just forward roll. So let me walk you through that one more time. So there's our kickoff. And I'm doing it different than he's doing it. He's doing it kind of with a hammer on. I'm doing it with picked. So hammer. Forward and reverse. With a pull off. I'm just rolling off the five. I'm not exactly sure what he's doing there yet because, well, we haven't listened to it yet. So here we are. All right. Well, we about got this sorted. Here we go. So that's what I would do. But what's he doing? Let's let's see if we can figure out what he's doing there. Excuse me while I struggle with my... goes down and open index goes down second string all right let's see what else is there all right back that up is 
is going to work right there. I mean, all of that. So. so that gives us a kickoff. I think that's it. Uh, let's see. Let's do it all again slow. So he's doing something like... Not exactly what he's doing, but guess what? Guess what? It doesn't really matter. So now we've kind of got us a kickoff to this thing. Let's do it again. So that gives us kind of a kickoff there. Let's put the tempo up to let's let's speed it up just a little bit. See if I can play along. There's one little part there that I'm trying to figure out the timing, but we'll get it sorted out. Here we go. All right, let's do it again. And then at the end of that break, there there are just standard little G fills. So let's see if we can get that all sorted out. Here we go now. Let's see, now he goes forward and reverse, G leg, four, five, one, hammer, three, forward roll. So let's see if y'all can see what's going on here. Uh, so we're starting with our kickoff. So it's a pinch. Forward in reverse. G leg. And then a four, five, one, hammer, three, forward roll. We're gonna start with a slide. Five one hammer three forward roll with a slide pinch open two that's what I did just then <laughs> I did what I did and then a so any kind of G lick on the end there will work so let's look at it again. So let me let me 
struggle it out for y'all. Forward and reverse. G lick. And then a four, five, one. Hammer, three. Forward roll. Five, one on the end. Four. Just four with a hammer, three. And then a forward roll with a slide. And then one pinch with that finger down. So. And then I'm just gonna put a G lick on the end. It's one of my little things that I, I like to do. Just five, three, five, one, and then, then that. So one more time through that, and I think we've got something that we can commit that I can jot down to a piece of paper that might help y'all have a, a break to Red Daisy. So here we go. Forward and reverse. something at this point. So our kickoff starts with a pinch. Hammer, forward and reverse. G lick. Four, five, one. Hammer, forward. Let's see if I can do, let's see if I can do it more like what he's doing it. see me learn how to play this break. I've, I've never played this break before. I mean, y'all are hearing me go through this the, for the first time. And uh, so hopefully the process of me going through something like this gives you an idea of how I, how I learn to play tunes and figure stuff out. One more time, and then I'll uh, open it up for some questions here. All right, so pinch. Forward and reverse. Ah, shoot. Pinch, forward and reverse, lick, all right, let's try it one more time, I, I swear I can do it, I promise. Get our, let's 
let's listen to it again. Let's roll this back. So we're at 75%. Here's my... So, all right, let's put it at, let's do it, at, so let's do it to tempo, just to see, normal speed, okay, all of that, so what, uh, we've been here for 26 minutes and we've learned 12 seconds worth of banjo break. <laughs> That's blazing, y'all, but there it is. Right, let me try one more time. That's about as good as it's gonna get, you know, 20 minutes in. Now. Uh, I get hung up in that forward roll because it's like it holds an extra measure there. And, Frankly, I'm not used to doing that. I would I would shorten it, but I ain't them. So they did what they did. Basically, there's your break, and I will, I will sit here the, over the next few minutes, <laughs> over the next few minutes, and uh, throw a tab together for you, just so, just for reference. But again, it's not going to be, it's not going to be, it's not going to be a transcription of that. It's going to be, it's going to be what I just did, kinda, and it might help me sort out that long forward roll sequence, but I mean, that that's, that's okay. Uh, and so there you go, a live lesson that I haven't done in a while, so it's kind of neat. All right, well, we got a few folks here. Uh, so before I go, any questions about this particular tune at all? Any, 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 any anything? Feel free, if not, find a button and hit it, make it all go away.
Uh, Mason, yeah, that, that was the whole kind of the whole point of doing this video. Uh, you, you can go back and watch the live stream. I play it, figure out what key, and then start trying to sort out what I'm hearing and figuring out what he's doing. But yeah, so this is, this is not only is this a live lesson on Red Daisy, it's also a process of watching me figure out a tune. So, uh, the, oh yeah, that's, that's wear and tear. I mean, I, the frosting wears off and you get a little dirt and dust. Just kind of grossness in general. Amazing, that's kind of, that's kind of, you know, like in a jam session, that's kind of, you know, so basically I approached it like I would, would a jam session. I, uh, like, I walked up to the jam, they're playing a tune, I figure out what key they're in, because you can't, you know, I couldn't ask them. They were busy. They were playing. And then started figuring out just a break to it. So, so there. That's kind of what I did. Danny, this name is Banjo Break? What? <laughs> uh Uh, Invader, yeah, that was kind of the point, though, you know, is to, so y'all can see how I go about figuring out, figuring out a tune, you know, it's like, oh, so that, that's how, that's how Panky does it, yeah, that's how I do it, so, uh, anywho, all right, folks, um, I will, uh, let y'all go, I'll get ready, I'll go get ready for my somewhat nightly TikTok live stream. So if y'all do TikTok, come find me on TikTok. I'm there. Woohoo. It's a it's a zoo. This this is really this is calm, laid back, very chill. TikTok on the other hand, it's a zoo. So come prepared for a zoo. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> uh Dr. Duct tape, do I have to replace this the the I only, I only replace the hide when it's uh, when it breaks. I, I don't I don't you know some people some people will replace it when they start to look when they start to look like this. Some people go, ooh, I don't like that. It looks gross. Me, I you know, I kinda like that. That's kind of what I, you know, that's that's kind of my badge of honor, you know. Proves I actually been practicing. Uh, so no, I, I, I don't I don't replace it unless unless I just unless it breaks. And I ho hopefully, you know, I mean, I've got, I've got banjos. Well, like my price, it's from 1983. It's still got the same, it's still got the original head on it. So it's not going anywhere. All righty, y'all. Uh, Invader, yeah. Well, I get, I, I stay confused, man. <laughs> All right. Hitting the button. Y'all behave. Have fun. <laughs>